Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to see this video. As we're getting into is this new Sims 4 for rent uh, pack. And I'm so excited for today's video. We'll be exploring Tamarang, which I really hope I'm saying that correct. I'm probably going to say things wrong. And I'd like to formally apologize now. If you're new to this village, welcome on in. I really want to explore this world and get into it. So I think without further ado, let's hop into the game. So here we are in Tamarang, which if you guys see, obviously, you just uh, hover on over it. And let's read this. Okay, so I had to zoom in for you guys, but let's see. Grown from humble roots off the coast of she -si, I hope I said that wrong. I mean, I hope I said that correct. Excuse me. Tamarang is lively with local fare, community chaos, and uh, legends of lore. Known for its tight-knit communities and sun-filled shared spaces, Tamarang is a lush landscape for possi uh, of possibilities. I can't read. I'm so sorry. If you're just now joining us, yeah, um, I'm doing my best. I promise. Come cozy up with the nature or fish around for neighborly niceties and whimsical secrets. So I'm excited to see all the secrets. Whether you're flying solo or raising generations, this region offers a warm welcome to a multi-loving lifestyle. So, so, deka, which I hope I said that right, which probably not, but either way, I'm super excited. I think this world is so pretty. We got to play a little bit in it. The colors are absolutely vibrant. I love being part of it. Let's dig in further. Okay, so as you can see, we have two different, like, sides here. So, the first one, Maureen Sung. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like I should apologize every time I try to read anything, but, uh, let's get into it. So, here we have is a bustling neighborhood with pockets of idyllic peace and nooks of neighborly nuance. Morang is the spot for vibrant communities to thrive day or night, stroll through the botanical garden, which I haven't seen quite yet, um, or throw down a game of backyard hopscotch, which I definitely have tried. It's fun. absolutely love it, which also builds up fitness, by the way. Even during the night market buzz for some sunset shopping and mood light munchies. Ooh, some munchies? Okay. The possibilities are endless. So this is one area which we... So we can see we have one open lot here, 40 by 30. We got here is a residence, which is empty, actually. Um, oh, no, this is the owner. I forgot. Oops, okay. So they got, like, these two... I don't know what yet. We're going to dig into that, um, who lives in here. And then down below is an open space to be rented. Uh, if I remember correctly, I remember clicking on it. It says there's no rules. It's two stars and whatnot. But let's, uh, let's read into the sisters really quick. So if we click on their household, we have is... Kaya Putri, pa Kaya Putri, Kaya Putri, Kaya, Kaya Putri, Kaya Putri, Kaya Putri. I'm gonna keep trying. You know what? I'm gonna figure it out. Since the unfortunate microwave water incident that resulted in the loss of their parents. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Okay. Um, Kaya and Wulan, um, Venetia has had to take on a major responsibility as both big sister and guardian. Okay, so they are siblings. It has been hard juggling a teenager and a tenant shenanigans all under one roof. So I, I'm pretty sure people have lived here already and caused a mayhem. Caused what? Caused a mayhem. Caused mayhem. I can't speak today. Hello? Uh, cool. But this is one of the households. I'm excited to click on it, see if there's any, like, secret relationship stuff. So let's hop into the household and see what we got going on. Okay, so let's see. So we have two sisters. Do you think on the family tree the parents are on here? No, it's just us two. Oof, okay. Uh, I mean, that's fine. But who do we have? Because I like currently, like, I like seeing the drama and what The Sims 4, like, puts into the game itself as for relationships. That's what I'm all about. As cool as the builds are, so if you guys want to check out their place really quickly, I know with the whole apartment complex, you can't really see everything uh, when they, you know, obviously section off an area for something. This is what I was saying. I feel like the world is so vibrant. It's so pretty. So this is where they're staying currently. They, uh, I believe, rent out the bottom section, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, so I get to see it today. So if you guys want to check out and currently my Disney Princess Challenge, which we should live stream uh, every Tuesday, Thursday on Twitch, you guys can definitely check us out down below for live or check out my other YouTube page where I post them all up there. Uh, we are currently low living in the first floor. So that's how I know about the where their, where their space is. But as you can see, we got like a teenager bedroom with painting, I guess. Uh, they got their room and whatnot. How much money they got? They're 20000 So if you want to like, you know, potential... For, you know, potential romance pro partners, I guess. So, as we have here, I believe, is uh, Venetia the eldest? Yeah, so we have the young adult. So, they are creative, child of the village. I wonder what that means. Good business savvy. So, we have, these Sims love feeling anchored to their community. And Tamarani culture, Tamarani culture? 
Keeping in touch uh, with loved ones and engaging in activities that remind them of home is important for being happy. That is cute. So we have first mold exposure. Oh, Jesus. I haven't even pushed play yet. We already got mold in this place. Okay. Uh, cool. First promotion. Let's go. Kind of like that. So that they've experienced mold. But so a microwave incident, maybe that's what happened. Maybe their parents died by mold. I don't know. What do we have for likes and dislikes? Likes. DJ mixing, Nancy, and Andiness, mixology, dislikes video gaming. A lot of different music. Dislikes cottage core. Okay. Likes compliments and gossips. Dislikes pranks and complaints. Okay. That kind of makes sense. You know, you're a tenant. Uh, for your tenants and whatnot. Likes certain types of fashion. I don't really care for. Likes the color pink and purple. Okay. Dislikes yellow and brown. Okay. I can't be mad at that. Uh, this, let's see. What else? Sims characteristics. Family oriented sims. High energy sims. Dislikes argumentative sims and emotional decision makers. Okay. That kind of makes sense. But... Uh, what else do we know about you? So you have the five-star property owner. So that's what you're working towards. You want to be a really good owner and whatnot. Uh, that's not too bad. You're also a... Oh, you also have a job as a barista, I believe that is. Yeah. But you're level two. Okay. Zero skills. Oof. My poor friend. <gasps> there is drama! So, Safaria? Safaria? I believe that's how you say their name. They are not in good relationship. We do have a close friend from the looks of it, so let's look into our sibling, though. What's up with that? Something just nosy. Ooh. You know what? I can't be mad at you for that. So, s sisters, we're distant. Okay. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, maybe it's because you had to take on this certain role. You know, it could be rough. Uh, then we have Ty. Ty Ling, which, oh, very attractive, which I know is my mod, but you know how that is. Uh, but young adult. I wonder who they are. We'll find out soon, I guess. But that's where they are. That's the relationships. I guess that's about it that we can find out on you currently. Which is still honestly interesting. We got this, like, dynamic going on with the siblings. And then over here for... For me, we have Zafira. I believe that's how you say the name. Seeker of Secrets. Ooh, so I've been wondering about this aspiration, actually. So, discover secrets, snoop for secrets, eavesdrop on sims, confront a sim with a secret, keep a secret... Discover secrets by eavesdropping, break into a home, ooh, find a tiger inspector badge, blackmail a sim, ooh, okay, so I was kind of wondering, because this is in Deviance, like, do I have to actually, like, be disrespectful, like, can I just be a seeker of secrets without, like, having to blackmail somebody, but you do have to for this aspiration, at least, to at least to finish it, and uh, do we have anything special about you, let's see, you just know your sibling, which, okay, it's fine, you're a high school student, obviously, you're clumsy, nosy, and dastardly, Wah, wah, wah. <gasps> you're already on your first break and committed? Hello? What a rush. Likes committing and... Uh, what? Committing? Likes, uh... To break and enter is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Got a job. Got a job. So you have two jobs now. Do you have a job right now? Yeah, you're a babysitter right now. Okay. I like how they set that up. That's kind of nice. Your likes and dislikes. Anything cool? We just like DJ music. Uh, booth music. Okay. Likes writing, baking, and mischief. Okay, that makes sense. Like, silly behavior, jokes, pranks. Ooh, that's probably why they don't get long. I mean, one doesn't like pranks while the other one just loves pulling them. And likes the color blue and green. Dislikes red. Dislikes queen and decor. Okay. Dislikes idealistic sims and opportunity sims. But you like pet enthusiast, spirited sims, and funny sims. You like being... You're a bit of a goofball. I'm, I'm here for that. Okay. But that's all we know for now for about this family. Let's move on out back to the world and see what else we got going on. Okay, so I had to go back into this family mainly because I forgot if we turn around we can see what won the park, which is really nice. I feel like this is a nice spot if you want to live with a family and whatnot. You just have this right, like, really next to you. But over here we have is the temple, which I, the most I know about it currently is your sim literally goes into it. It's a rabbit hole. And then they come out with a, what's it called? What are these things called again? <laughs> with one of these things, which I can't remember, uh, and moodlets. There we go. And one of them is just, like, happy, I think, plus three or something. I, don't quote me on that. But it mainly it says, like, oh, the decoration's nice. But uh, I definitely recommend trying it out yourself. I don't know if your sims get anything after doing it for a while or anything like that. Because I know also we have is where we... Uh, if I go back to their house. Where's your house at? Where am I? I'm lost. Uh, they also have, like, these little guys where... Oh, no. Just kidding. Um, here we go. Found it. Okay. Where you can, like, uh, leave fruit and incense and stuff. So I thought that was really cool and whatnot. I don't know if it does anything in the prolong uh, other than we just get a few little moodlets uh, and whatnot. Which can also uh, help and whatnot, but I'm not quite sure. And then also, which I don't want to forget. Uh, I always kind of forget where it is, though. Here we go. The night market, which obviously it's daytime, so uh, we're a little too early to the party. But this place, honestly, it's so pretty and vibrant. I absolutely love the way it looks. 
Uh, obviously you have the different shops. You can get like exclusive marbles and different items that I don't really fully understand quite yet. Cause obviously we've only played what one stream so far while I'm recording this. Uh, but yeah, this shop here in the end definitely gets you exclusive items. You can get like from fish and whatnot, which I haven't done quite yet. Uh, but I'm excited to. The only thing that I do have to mention that, uh, was kind of sad. I mean, obviously, thankfully people are autonomously like eating and going to the stalls. I haven't anybody... Obviously, we've only played one day, so caution with everything I say. We played the violin for, like, a solid, like, six hours, and we have a pretty high skill, I, I like to assume, but, uh, nobody tipped us. Okay, I won't lie, though, one sim creepily stared at us for a while, but it's also the sim, so how can mad can I be? I just feel like when we were, like, when we play, like, city living, like, in the city and whatnot, people, you know, tipped, but, you know... Maybe, maybe it's just the time of day and, you know, the sim and who knows what. But at least I've definitely noticed sims autonomously going to the stalls, sitting, eating, walking around and stuff, which I thought was really cool to see. And it's really pretty to take photos of. Um, although I personally wish there was, like, something like the dark side of the market or, I don't know, something kind of goofy. We have, like, breaking and entering and stuff, but, you know, I want something like, you know, ooh, get your cool voodoo dolls over here, like down on this strip but I'm, I'm a weirdo you know what i mean um but that's just me like that's what i'm trying to say it's just me you know but let's go back let's finally go back into the world and see what else we got going okay so we have looked into their household and the tenants like i said we have this lovely lot over here and then uh, let's see is anybody staying here i think this is just a house yeah so this is a house you can rent out uh and then here's the park so why don't we just blip in really quickly uh in build mode into each of these lots just get a quick glimpse of it see what you guys think and stuff obviously it's not like a magnificent amount of uh but if you're a builder i feel like you'd want to like check out be like oh wow this spot looks really pretty like we got over the water right here i think this spot is nice we got like a nice little area and whatnot and we still have access to the well the park's right there but we can't, like, slide all the way to the night market like we could when we had the other property. So you might want to buy out the sisters, not gonna lie. I feel like that's the ideal spot. Unless, you, unless you're unless you here for, like, oh, I'm fine with traveling, but I want this really pretty lot to build on. Because I, I think this place is really pretty. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? But that's one of the lots. So let's fly back out. Next up, what we have here is, like I said, this house here, which, uh, similar to all of uh, Marine Sung has to offer, this renovated shop house. Ooh, is perfect for any lovely lifestyle with an uh, out-of-the-town attitude. Fast internet and mold. Ooh, I just realized we can read all that there. Hold on. If I go back to here. Uh, go back. Go back. I want to I wanna see if there's any specialties. So none here. What about up here? None there. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm just curious. What about here? Do we get any specialties? None. No traits. Okay. And uh, the thing that I find really cool is that each... I think if it's, we can specify which part of the apartment has like certain traits and i think that's really cool obviously i personally haven't experienced it yet but uh i've seen and heard other people talk about it so don't don't quote me take everything with a grain of salt is what i have to say let's go view the park personally so far what i've seen i want to renovate the park it's literally if i remember correctly it's pretty don't get me wrong obviously but uh it's like a seating area spot to cook is this new i was been wondering about that since we've been playing yeah, so this is new here for little cooker and whatnot. Uh, and that's about it. It's it's honestly just looks. But this part here you can update if you wanted. But I feel like a lot of this pack is looks and whatnot. I haven't really experienced a whole lot yet. Um, but we got... Ooh, this is pretty. Why? We got a little... I mean, I can't get to that right now. Um, it's, it's small. It's a small little park that we can uh, change up if we so desire. I honestly think it's really pretty, though. I think this... Like, for looks-wise this everything about this world so far has been aesthetically pleasing to me so let's hop back out okay so that's about it for morning song let's hop on over to this other section which i'm excited to show you here we have is ko sapa i believe uh neighbors with nature or other tenants ko sapa offers a more relaxed lifestyle along the river after a dip in the sea or some much needed beach time ooh, i'm excited to see what that looks probably like some really places to like pretty places to build and whatnot. I haven't explored this site at all yet. Gather around at the Screaming Gecko for a drink or two, feeling the warm heated, uh, wait, what? <laughs> feeling warm heated from all that sun? Visit the Sule Tiger Sanctuary to support local, ooh, uh, local conversation. No matter the choice, Ko Sap uh, Sapa is the ideal spot for a go with the flow attitude. I'm really excited about that because I personally, especially 
I mean, it was back my senior year of high school. I haven't really looked into it much since then, unfortunately. But I really went into, like, artistically, like, painting different animals that were going extinct and whatnot and being able to bring up that discussion. So I find that really cool that it's in my game now. You know what? All right. Uh, where to first? Let's see. Why don't we work our way out and then in? Because I think this one might have the secret cave. So here we have his Boon Ma, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. As always, I'm never offended when you guys correct me. So for a traditional roots, the... Boon Ma family relies on a strong family bonds to get them through life's ups and downs. Bua insisted her son's sa ooh, family move in with her so that she could help raise her grandson. Sid, aw, like a little toddler. He can be a bit of a clingy at, at times, but Bua cherishes being able to pass down her generations of wisdom while uh, Kasim and Nin work hard and enjoy neatly wedded life. That's cute. They got like a whole little posse here. So let's uh let's hop on in. I literally have yet to meet this family, so I'm excited to see what they got going. Okay, so here's the home that they live in. Honestly, a really pretty property. I'm gonna have to see how far it goes. But as you can see here, they they live like by the water, literally just a, like so close. They have like their own little private area, basically. Oh my god, why is my game always foggy? Just mine? Where am I going? There's some cave somewhere, and I really want to see it before I investigate this family. So, uh, swim, swim, swim. Really hope I have some swimming skills. All right, I have drowned a sim before on accident, so be careful. Okay. But, uh, if I remember correctly, you can go over here and you can explore, which I've seen people die from it. Uh, don't quote me. I don't know. But, uh, I'm excited to explore it. Uh, but I'm a little nervous, too, because I've definitely seen, uh, some incidents happening. Don't know if they were joking, because, like I said, I've been watching, I've been watching a lot of videos. I feel like I've seen everything about this pack so far. But I'm excited to explore this cave. So that's one of the lovely secrets. Should we send one of them out? We should totally send one of them out. Okay, okay, before we do that, before I get a little too excited about the fact that I'm sending uh, some random poor- I'm gonna send the dad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here, here's a lovely lot. Uh, yes, yeah, very, very lovely. Uh, let's get into the house. What are we working with? In case you want to, like, move in with this family but, and take over their household. You never know. I like it. I love the art. I love this, uh, the color palette that they got going on. We got the toddler room, which is lovely. And I guess this is Granny's room. I mean, Granny Room, you're looking kind of sad. Um, Granny has nothing. I Maybe it's like a guest room and she just she just moved in, maybe. I'd be a little worried that my toddler would find it so fun to climb under the house and whatnot. Just me? I mean, looks like I've got some plans, but I, I would have, I don't know. You know, maybe the toddler knows, but maybe the toddler can't even get down the stairs. Maybe you know, we let our toddler out. I like the little patio. But uh, who do we have here? Boo and Bun Ma. Okay, let's see. What do we know about you, lovely one? We got the curator. We got zero jobs. Okay, your stay at home granny. Zero skills. You got a lot of relationships. I mean, it's mainly with the fam lamb. So, Nin. Wait, who's your kid, actually? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I, before I look into it too much. Okay, so this is your kid, and then this is the little fam lamb tree. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just had to check, because uh, she's definitely closer to one individual than the other. But, um, uh, okay, wait, who's this? Neighbor, okay, good friend. Okay, okay, I was a little worried. I was like, uh, husband? Like, what? Oh, uh, but okay, okay, I'm spoiling things. I wanna, I wanna go one at a time. So, we're compatible with two. Let's look into our son first. So, Kasim, what do we know about you? Cheerful, family-oriented, perfect, uh, perfectionist. Our son, amazing compatibility. We're very supportive, good friend, aww. Uh, he's in a startup entrepreneur at a rainy day entertainment. Okay. Uh, I'll look at your likes and dislikes soon. We got Nin, the wife. So, the child of the village again. Bookworm, romantic. Aw. Perceived very attractive. Okay, Granny. Granny got, um, Granny's like, mm, I see your wife. You did well, my son. You did well. <laughs> I Like I said, this isn't my attractiveness mod. But I find that hilarious when I see those things. Okay. And then I guess this is um, Ontario, which we is a neighbor. So good friends and also perceived as attractive, but they're married, unfortunately, to Chan Lin. Which, I mean, you know, happily married. That's good. I mean, Granny just thinks everybody's attractive, maybe. Um, let's see. Sood, who do we have about you? Very clingy friend. Grandson, we're strict with him. I find it kind of easy to be strict with toddlers, though, in this game. So that is that. What do, you, what do we know about you? You got some free earbuds. Let's go, Granny. 
You're a music lover, non-committal. Ooh, and you're wise. A sim who's experienced enough of life to know what really matters. These sims enjoy reminiscing and sharing life's wisdom. I didn't even know this is something you get. Making them exceptional mentors of uh, those willing to listen. Their years of experience allow them to naturally learn new skills with ease and emotional intelligence, reduce their anger and uncomfortable thoughts. And your collector, we got Crumple Bottom. Can you ever forget the first time you got per by purse? So that means they were romantic in public with Crumple Bottom. <gasps> I did not expect this tea. Okay. We have for life, retired, retired from the career. So they did have one. Have a baby. Makes sense. I repeat, my name. Hello, hello. Is this working? I have breaking news. Granny had an affair. I mean, Granny thinks everything's attractive with my mod, so it kind of makes sense. <gasps> but I had an affair. Widowed, and then they died. How did they die? I need to know. I love this family. This might be my favorite family ever in The Sims. Sims, congratulations. Can I get a round of applause? The tea that I'm sipping? The I don't know what. <laughs> Breathe. It's fine. Okay, might go away. Uh... <laughs> Widowed from side of the spouse are separated by death. And then we have fun in love. Love is in the air. What do we have, though? Dislikes metal music. Okay, Granny. Dislikes mischief. You like singing, cooking, baking. So I'm, like, skipping over some of these. Dislikes deception. Okay. Ooh. Maybe they did something to push Granny past the limit. <laughs> okay, wait. What, what else am I reading? What do we have? Physical intimacy, flirtation, and you like gossip. Sims characteristics, idealistic sims, romantic enthusiasts, family motivated sims, and rascals. Just like pessimistic sims. We like red, yellow, and blue. Uh, I don't really care about furniture. And you like basic fashion. Okay. Wow, Granny. Wow. Granny came out with a T. I absolutely love that. Okay, let's move on to the sun, Kasim. So you are currently level 8 of the startup entrepreneur. Let's go. You're pretty hype in your thing. Really big, happy family. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. And you have some skills. Okay, that's a, that's the first. We got three for charisma and eight for programming. And oh, look at you and your wife. Amazing compatibility. Very attractive. Close spouse. Sweetheart. Oh, What about with granny? You got good compatibility with both of them, so that's good. Wise. Oh, wise is a trait. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm, uh, it's that 100 trait mod that I have. I keep forgetting what traits we have and what we don't, uh, not gonna lie. But supportive, friend, amazing mother, which we already read all that. Uh, and for your son, supportive. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, what else do we know about you, my child? Family-oriented, cheerful, perfectionist, we already knew. Uh, first woohoo, okay, first promotion. Had a baby, get a job, got married, fell in love, no affair that I should be you know looking towards okay so dislikes americana music okay you, you like metal music though your granny did not mom did not okay likes robotics fitness and video games okay likes blue and green dislikes gray likes idealistic sims romantic enthusiasts homebody sims and spirited sims uh, i don't really care for fashion and stuff let's see likes flirtation compliments affection and dislikes potty humor you know i can't be mad at that okay and that's what we know about you. Let's move on to your lovely wife. Ooh la la. Which, okay, you just know these guys. You're not really close to the, the granny. But, I mean, she probably just moved in. So, that's not too terrible. Very extremely attractive. Ooh, super, oh, this is such a sweet family. I'll say, granny got some pessimist. Oh, pes oh what? Permissive. I almost read that wrong. Since I'm a permissive family dynamic, I tend to let things slide for the younger ones and get into a bit of trouble. Ooh, you spoil him. All right, what do we know about the child? I mean, you're pretty close to everybody. I don't think I see anything special. Yeah, strict. Let's see, supportive. Yeah, nothing new. No sentiments or anything I'm noticing. So, okay. And clingy. That's all we know about you, my child. Nothing. Nothing. You're a little, uh, irresponsible. Just a little irresponsible and whatnot. So, yeah, that's this family. I mean, Granny gave all the tea I needed, honestly. I'm happy with that. But this is where they live. I mean, like I said, you can't reach a whole lot, but we can. You know what? Yes, it's time. Are you ready for your mission? Uh, let's, uh, let's send you over. Is he fine? His knees are fine. You know what? Let's go. I, I need to check this out. Go here. Hurry. Run. Run like the wind. Forget your family. Do, do, do. Oh my goodness. I won't mention it, but you run. 
<laughs> you run. That's all I can say. Okay, let's go. Come on, pick it up. Pick up those feet. Woo, we're swimming! Acquire the fitness skill. You weren't gonna drown on the way there, my friend, right? This is a long journey. So it is 140. Come on, keep it going. You could do it. Oh my god, don't do this while you're tired, guys. Be warned. You won't even make it all the way there yet. So we're feeling pretty good, feeling good, and we made it. We're making it across. This is like one of the spots you can arrive on. I wonder if we can swim around if we chose to. I don't know if I would want to. But let's go explore. Why you got your phone, my friend? You might not want to swim with your phone. I mean, unless you packaged it right. You never know. But okay, here we go. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Did you know your mom has many secrets that we just found out about? Yeah, I'm telling you that right before you enter a cave. Okay, my child, give me something cool and interesting. What's the secrets about this cave? Am I really gonna die? Oh, Granny's burning to death, just casually in the background. But, I uh, hidden tunnel. Wait, let me get my microphone. You know what? It feels like a microphone video. So, upon entering the cave, Kasim notices a small tunnel towards the back wall. Could this be the entrance to another cave? A cave within the cave? A caveception? Eager to find out, Kasim makes his way to, to the dark passageway. Let's explore the passage. Woohoo! Take me along, my friend. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta save Granny! Granny's just slowly burning in the background. I thought we would die in the tunnel, not Granny. Okay, but here we have. At this point, Kasim can only rely on sounds and uh, vibes to find his way out. The cave entrance has entirely disappeared from the view. Right, bro. But with a few steps, the light can be seen in the distance. Suddenly, uh, surrounded by dampened walls, he can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, honestly, I can totally understand. Okay, wait. Pause the game. Pause the game. Granny's, Granny's dying. Uh, Granny, what are we doing over here? Granny, change your outfit if you're dying. Please, please. Don't you have a hot wear outfit? Get your life together. Sims. Okay, I'm going back. Bye, Granny. Good luck. Hello? Hello and welcome. Is that somebody? Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Um, you know what? So I don't spoil everything, because I'm realizing this is going to go on for a while. Uh, I'm going to click through randomly. And we're going to explore more of this hidden tunnel when we get uh, into our racks to riches with this pack. But I'm just going to spam. You know what? I'm not even going to read it. No more reading. Click away. Maybe you already read it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep spamming. If you read it and you spoiled it for yourself, go for it by pausing the video. Oh, what? Why are we out here? Go back in there. Uh, let's see. What, what, what was that pop up about? Uh, climb the rocky hole. Uh, tiny hands reached out to hold him. What even was that? The view that could be cool. The creature's quest for affection has left him for several hebes and quite a few gbs. <laughs> that's funny, gb creepies. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited to explore what other sentiments we get and stuff. So, nothing in our pocket. We don't really know anybody. It sounds like we might have a creature might have fallen in love with us. But that is that. Let me get out of here before I spoil any more with this, because I want to be able to explore it with a a family that I'm gonna play with for a while. So let's hop on out. Let's just go. Okay, so up next we have is two empty lots, so I'm just going to quickly click on them so I can show you guys the property, what it looks like around. If you're excited as somebody who's a builder and stuff, oh, let me put my microphone away, um, and you're like, I want to see what it looks like and stuff, so we have this property here. I think this is pretty, okay. Nice little lovely dock, which you can't fish on, so that's nice. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry my game is so foggy, but uh, I say this is a pretty, pretty location. Okay. I mean, this is as far as I can scroll out, but like I said, you can go here. Uh, and it looks like we have a swimming spot potentially. Definitely a spot to like play in the sand. Not sure about swimming though, because it won't let me click over there. But you never know in gameplay. So let's do bucking out. Next up we have is this one here. So uh, does this say anything special about these ones? So sorry, the last one has nothing. But upon from any and all commotions, this land rests quietly enclosed by nature's for more relaxing element completed with a worthwhile fishing spot. Okay, so that's what we're seeing. Okay, what about here? We have Bracing Breeze and Off the Grid. Catch a glimpse of the aquatic life floating by or we suck up the sun. This inspirational site comes with beachfront access and exceptional views. Okay, so as you know, you can change all that stuff, but it's kind of cool to know that if you want to live off, like, the lot and whatnot, you can live on this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we got, like, a little spot here. I don't know about fishing, per se. Uh, but this is nice. I mean, you, you get a glimpse of, like, nature, really pretty spot, but also a bit of this, like, you know, some other homes and stuff. Like, a pretty cool statue and stuff. Nice little bridge over there. Okay. I like this. Okay, let's, let's see what we got out, though. Okay, next up, we have a couple of different spots. We have a lounge here, and then we also have, let's see, who all lives here? Because I think I saw we got the Lynn... 
Sadia, I think that's how you say that. And then they, ooh, and then Lynn. Okay, so that's the friend of somebody else over there. So I really want to check that out. If you guys want to check out the lounge itself, I think we're going to explore that, um, what's it called, in the Let's Play. But, I mean, it's a lounge. I mean, there's nothing, like, secrets and whatnot that at least I know of. Is there secrets? I guess we'll find out in that Let's Play. I'm already spoiling so much, I feel like. So let's hop on in. We have a four-star place. Okay. Mold and spooky, though. How's the four stars? Hello? Excuse you? Uh, but let's go check on Lynn. Let's see who this is and what we need to know about them. So they are discerning dweller. These sims aspire to be the perfect tenant. Okay. These sims, okay, I already read that. Cringe. Ooh, genius. And they're a slob. Let's go, let's go head on in though. We're, they're not even at home. Okay, where are you? I don't know, but you're having fun. I need to know your secrets though. So, they already got, meet the, okay, we already, we already read that. Secret agent, ooh. Secret agent level seven, too. In the world of spy, every stranger is a uh, potential assassin. Every situation is a potential ambush. Fueled with adrenaline, thighs, uh, lives a fast and, le uh, fast and lives dangerously. She also wears a cool, a lot of cool disguises. Ooh. So, we do have some skills. So, fitness, charisma, logic, and comedy. I mean, we could have gotten these least comedy and fitness while I've been playing around in this silly game. Uh, we know a lot of people, which I'm assuming these are the people upstairs. And also our friend, oops, not what I wanted. Uh, our friend Manisha. So if we click on her, good capacity, I'm gonna see through, I'm gonna click through. I, uh, Alon, I mean. Multi-unit neighbor, okay, unattractive. Oof, you think they're ugly, okay. Um, who else do we have? Arturo. So, friend, amazing compatibility, neighbor, and that's your father. Okay, maybe the, your family lives upstairs. We got Cam, who is your niece. Amazing compatibility, supportive and whatnot. That's cute. And then we have over here, Chan. Okay, so friend, father. Okay, so this is the spouse to Arturo, who is uh, the granny in the other family. He thinks this is very attractive with my mod. Okay, so we have that, and then Lynn. Who is friends, neighbor, multi jokester, sister, and whatnot. Oh, and then I did I miss any? Oh yeah, Taro. Which I already read. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so that is that. Do we know anything else or any other secrets that we might have that we should know about? Let's see. First, eat my cloud plan. Oh, that's so sad. First promotion. Abducted by aliens. Cool. I love that they added this. Uh, got a job and adopted a pet. Where's your pet at? Huh. It, did they really adopt a pet or is it because they're a spy? You like dancing? You dislike metal music, but you like quite a bit of other music. Okay. Like silly behavior, disgusting hobbies, disgusting interests. This would be a really cool friend to have. Okay. A lot of different fashion you like. Dislikes egotistical sims. Likes homebody sims, spiritual sims, and rascals. Uh, lastly, likes the color purple and green. I think this would be a really cool person to meet. I'm not gonna lie. But let's head back over to that family, at, or that household in general, and go see who's living upstairs. I think it's, like we said, that was like their, their, their parents and whatnot. Okay, so if we head on up, we got no rule sets, nothing about it, okay. Wait, who is the owner then? I'm assuming it's the fan, the parent, the, 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 I don't know. Is there a way for me to tell? If you guys can see and I don't see because I'm missing it, let me know. But um, let's head on in to this lovely family. The last one, I believe, of this household. So yes, come on. Okay, let's start with Chan Lin. Okay, what do we know about you? You're an angular? Okay, no job. Have a little bit of charisma, but that could just be new. Aw, your loved one. I think that's so cute. But I'm noticing there's no, like, special, like, sediments. We do have, like, uh, so far what I've noticed is, like, first and whatnot, which we can read into. So, I think I'm just gonna, let's go through that. I'll, I'll try to check here and there. But I'm noticing there's no, like, actual, like, oh, we hate each other. There's a uh, rift, a personal rift and stuff, you know? So, they're family-oriented, foodie, goofball, and whatnot. We have explored the deep into the, ooh, temples with treasures and whatnot. That's pretty cool. First, woohoo. I don't need to know that. Okay. <laughs> Life, you're retired. Okay. You got married. Fell in love. Oh, that's super sweet. Anything cool here in the name? Fishing, hideous. Likes all those. Purple and white. 
Likes funny sims, readable, spirited sims, and uh, natural enthusiast. Likes small talk discussions and stories. Okay, so if you want to get to know this person, definitely utilize those and stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, no sentiments. Okay, that's so uh, that's fine. I mean, you already added a lot from the first. I think that's really cool to read into. Antaro, I loved one. What do we know about you? You're still working as an astronaut. Let's go. Level four. You're a nerd brain. You have skills for fitness two, comedy one, charisma one, logic three. Like I said, I did play for my game for a bit to have, send him to the case. So some of those could just be popped up because of that. And oh, I think that's so sweet. The little relationship we got going on here. Okay. Anything else we should know about? Let's see. You're wise, geek, outgoing. You got your first promotion, explored six sim. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and you also explored the temples, had your first woo, got a job, had a baby, joined the family. Okay, wait, Lynn and then Ty. Okay, okay. Okay, you didn't have a baby. I was like, um, explain. Um, we have got married and fell in love. Aw, anything cool here that I should have read to? Dislikes bowling. Ooh, that's a very specific thing. But you like robotics, research, gardening, and handiness, and whatnot. Um, so I'm kind of skipping through it because it's kind of repetitive. Likes deep thoughts, stories, and whatnot. Dislikes argumentative sims. Okay, let's check this family tree. So we got... Aw, oh, you have these little guys here. Okay. Aw, so these are you guys' together. So we have... Lynn and Ty, who's a spy. I think that's such a cool career. All right, let's uh, head on over to Lynn. Uh, what do we have here? What do we need to know about you? So, neighborhood confidant. You are a wardrobe whiz. So, you're a stylist. Level 8, too. Let's go. If you guys want fashion tips, let's go, go to this individual in town. Charisma 6, painting 5, and writing 7. Um, Anything that I should know about here? I'm trying to, like, let's pick up the face, you know? So... We got you, nothing secret, nothing secret. Like, no hate, you know? We're, we're pretty chill here. Okay, so let's head over to, like, our first, because that's what I'm really interested in. We're um, generous, though, so caring, empathetic, and patient. We're loyal, and we're vegetarians. We got our first promotion, first woohoo, first job, have a baby, get married, and fall in love. Woot woot! And he likes surprising, likes or dislikes, argumentative, dislikes argumentative sims, okay, dislikes brown. Dislikes argumentative sims, nobody really likes people who argue over here. Okay, but moving on, we got, I think it's Alan. Did you just leave your, your fruitcake here, friend? They're a freelance botanist, okay. They're also a freelance programmer, okay. We got level 10 fishing, so if you want fishing skill, this is the person to hang out with. Video game one. Programming 5 and Charisma 1. Any surprises that I should know about? Nothing that I can see. Okay. I mean, obviously, my attractive with this mod. You know, trying to say people are attractive. Amazing about ability. I mean, you get along with everybody. No drama or tea here. Yet. <laughs> We're neat, self-assured, loves outdoors. You got your first woohoo. Get a job. Have a baby. Get married. Okay, yeah. You're kind of, you're nothing... There's nothing, you know, surprising here. Dislikes lullaby music, though. Okay. Give me something. I mean, okay, Granny kind of aced it. I think they're my favorite character now, right now. All right. Uh, lastly, we have Cam. Cam, what do we know about you? You got the art prodigy. You are a kid. Okay. Uh, you are a great C student. Okay, nothing special. No skills. Any secrets here? Nobody doesn't dislike you. Okay. You really get along with everybody, honestly. Loves outdoors. Let's see. First hopscotch win. Okay. Lost first two. Just like spooky music. Okay. Likes knitting, dancing, photography. Likes yellow and green. Just like said, dealer stims and likes discussing and stories and stuff. Okay. So I think that's it for these guys. I mean, this is a really cute fam lamb. I like to, I agree to. So let's head back out. Wait, no, 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 no. Actually. Because we are coming to the end. Where is this, uh, oh my god, how do we find it? This pet sanctuary, right? Oh, here it is. So we can hit support, add, adopt it. Adopt a who? Oh, what? Yeah, get, get over here. I don't care, we're adopting a tiger. What does that even mean? That is, what is, what is that? Yeah, go over there. I have to know. Get out of the way. Move. Move, people, move. We're going to cross the bridge. Do, 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 do. Come on, get, get those uh, feet up. 
Hi knees, hi knees. Okay, we're heading out. Welcome to the. Okay, what, 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 what? Uh, congratulations. Okay, wait, we need our microphone for this. I'm so confused what's happened. I just adopt a tiger. I don't even know how much money you win. I guess I'll see when I edit. Welcome to the. Okay, what, 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 uh, what? Cub Club. Woohoo! Uh, from adopting a tiger, this exclusive membership is now paid for and endorsed by. Okay, uh, let's wait. What? Let the good times and continue donation roll. Oh. I, I guess I just gave him money on a subscription base. So congratulations on coming to a uh, Cub Club member. And thank you for your generous donations towards the Adopted Tiger program. Every cub needs a fluffy friend. So be on the outlook for their your aw, plush buddy with an exclusive commemorative poster. We'll arrive in the mail in one, one to two business days. Your contribution is helping a tiger thrive in and out of uh, Sule, Tiger St. Trey, and for that, we thank you for that. Be sure to come back and donate again. Aw, that's cute. I can't wait to get our plushie. We'll see that in a Let's Play. I'll definitely donate to a tiger. I thought we actually get a tiger, but it's fine. Uh, why don't we visit the St. Trey? Let's see, what does that do? Do we get any sentiments? We can also donate. I've already adopted a tiger, so the game's just like, please, no more. You can only have one tiger per individual. All right, do we get any sentiments? Oh, what? Oh, we get like little pops up. So we can ask about fun facts about tigers and stuff and as about current conservation and stuff. So, and you guys can read into that. We'll be reading more into that and whatnot into our Let's Play. So I'm excited about that. I don't want to spoil too much. I don't want to spoil too much. As cool as it is, can't believe we adopted a tiger. I got a pet tiger now. Uh, and yeah. Okay, so I think that'll do it for our little tour here. I hope I was able to exploit some secrets. I definitely love the tea that we were able to, um, intake with this video. And I'm excited to see what else we can explore, especially seeing the different pop-ups for the cave, seeing the different pop-ups for the sanctuary. I think that was really cool to be able to adopt a tiger and whatnot and being able to look into certain facts and whatnot. I'm excited to read into that later. And also, potentially, I don't know. I think Granny's the coolest one in this whole entire, like, Sims, like, world. I think they should do more of that. I like the drama. I like the tea. I just feel like it adds, like, a certain dynamic into a world. Like, how can we be, like, a whole world here and the only drama is that Granny, I mean, apparently, you know, cheated on their spouse. But you know what? I'm there for that, at least. I'll, I'll take that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope uh, you guys are excited to see the different, like, uh, let's play that we're gonna be in into shortly if you guys haven't checked out our rags to ranches yet 10 out of 10 recommend watching that series because after that we'll be getting into our, our rent to riches because i'm going to be renting potentially getting kicked out and then trying to own our own place we'll see but i think that'll do it for here and uh, and conclude that for this lovely tour and yay that'll be it for this video so like comment and subscribe and if you're new to this village welcome on in guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like always uh i'm excited I'm personally am, so I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, what are you planning to do? Do you have this pack yet, or are you waiting to see a little more? I've definitely seen so much information on this overall pack. Like, I feel like I've already had it for months, I'm not gonna lie. I don't usually do that. I was just really excited to be able to plan for our coming uh, Let's Play and trying to figure that out because I'm so new to Rags to Riches, and I wanted to be able to play that where I don't feel, like, too cheaty, if that makes sense. Because in this Let's Play, and at least what I've seen so far uh, with renting and whatnot, it's a little hard to make any money with renting unless you're, you're good at it and you have the money to support and, like, put into it, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna change so many different Let's Plays. If you guys are excited... Uh, uh, like interested in, in maybe potentially watching a let's play where we live within the walls like i'm a renter and i sell the uh the house and the interior place for two different people i think that'd be kind of chaotic and really fun maybe the people hate each other and they're like what the heck you live in my walls eventually i don't know i would love to see that happen i've been always wanting to do a live in the wall series so now that i can rent out both spaces as a landlord and make money on it there's so many possibilities. So I think that'll do it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.